Hello YouTube, today I wanted to talk about the fact that I believe that romance is dead, or maybe that it's dying. I realise this is a very big statement to make. I think my experiences over the last few months after my breakup have really led me to believe that the modern dating market, and in particular hookup culture, has killed off the kind of romance that used to be so special and so valuable to us as a culture. I realise that there are probably still very many examples of romance out there and romantic things happening to individuals but I guess what I've noticed is that we as a culture value intimacy a lot less than we used to I think and we used to have a lot more respect for each other which I believe that hookup culture has kind of killed off in a way and I've said this many times before but I think that porn and social media have been two of the greatest contributors to the death of romance in the modern era. I mean, just the fact that you can log on and see more beautiful women either on Instagram or on Pornhub, just the fact that you can go online at any time and see an insane amount of beautiful women doing practically anything that you want them to, I think has killed intimacy and killed the ability to connect with other people. I remember I briefly downloaded Hinge a couple of months ago just to sort of see what the current dating market was like. I was blown away by how superficial it all was. Just the very idea that you can swipe left or right depending on people's traits and physical attributes and the knowledge that oh there could be someone better out there and having all of those people at your fingertips just felt so degrading and having to market yourself in that kind of way was degrading. Having to boil yourself down to a set of attributes, to a set of photos of you looking your best or a set of traits that you believe will make you seem more desirable. When getting to know someone in itself is a beautiful experience and one that we've sort of taken away the pleasure of through things like dating apps and social media. You don't even get the pleasure really of getting to know someone, getting to hear about their holiday in, I don't know, Spain, or their favourite movie, or the things about themselves that they like. It's already there and they're already selling themselves in a way, whether on social media or on dating apps. We have to market ourselves now in a way that I don't think we really had to in the past, or maybe we did, but it was more through our character and values and our aspirations that we were judged on. Like if you if you brought a boy around to meet your parents, they would judge him on does he have a car, does he have a good job, does he have a degree, that kind of thing. And now I don't even remember the last time I heard of anyone going to meet someone's parents and having to impress them in a way. We're so divorced from dating as a thing that impacts not only your family but your future. It's like we see it as sort of instant gratification type of thing instead of considering who is this person really? Which needs of mine do they meet and which needs of theirs can I meet? Because that's one of the most important things I think in a healthy relationship is being able to meet each other in the middle and understand each other's needs and not just use each other for sexual means or for social status or whatever it is. I mean think about it, in the past you, I feel like you used to hear such romantic stories of ways that people met, like being, a being able to say oh I met the most beautiful woman in the world today and that not even being a lie because very likely the most beautiful woman you've ever seen would be one that you saw in real life and now it's like what kind of real life girl can compare to the false reality of social media and of edited pictures and of only showing your best self no one in real life can live up to that and i think on some level we know that but yet we still consume so many images of people that your brain doesn't know the difference whether they're a real person or a fake person, it just sees that person and takes them in as a person. And you take in all of these beautiful, not real images and then subconsciously compare them to the women in your own life. How can any girl live up to that? And I guess on the flip side, how can any man live up to the kind of people that women idolize? I guess I've been thinking a lot about something quite personal, but I guess I can share it with you guys. Um, and it's the way that my parents met which is very special to me and, <laughs> and almost feels like something I want to live up to, but it's very difficult to. Um, yeah, I guess I'll tell you guys the story. So my parents were both in university 
and my mum was playing the guitar in the corridor where they lived and my dad was walking along with his friend and he looked at her and he looked at his friend and he said that's going to be my wife <laughs> and even though my parents aren't together anymore it's still a very touching story and I feel like it's the kind of story that people don't really get to tell anymore nowadays about how they met their significant other it's all I mean I deleted Hinge after like a week because I thought to myself, God, can I can I imagine meeting someone I loved on this platform? What kind of story would we have to tell people? Oh, I met him on Hinge. Like, it's just so devoid of romance and so devoid of anything personal, anything intimate. It's just, oh, I sifted through a hundred other people and this one seemed like the least unattractive, this one seemed like the one that tailored his profile to exactly the way that my taste is, or it just feels so impersonal and so not manipulative, I suppose soulless and taking advantage of other people, just devouring them only for their good parts instead of having the pleasure of getting to know a real somebody. But yeah, my thoughts are quite scattered today, but I think that's all I really have to say for today. God bless and goodbye.